This is going to be a quick, short, sweet, and to the point to our Bloomingdale's because they are renovating. And I know that Hood is watching this video right now going, about fucking time. There's small portions of the store that have already earned themselves renovation, but the rest is coming. And I can't wait. I'll show you this apart over here. The escalators might go, I don't know. Here's the new floor. This is the new floor that's gonna be going through the whole store. Man, it looks good. And here's the old floor. We're gonna spin around each floor. Just gonna do a quick overview of this part. I don't wanna go back there. Such an inside joke. That area got renovated. I'll show you it on the way back. Something's definitely different over here. I remember what this door looked like when it opened in the 90s. No, that's the old floor. The elevator sign looks like it's in great condition. Let's go sideways. There we go. Yeah, let's re-level now that I'm about to go fucking down. Let's hope this elevator gets a new interior because they just slap these on and it looks like shit. Here's the basement. This is probably my favorite floor in the building. I don't know why. Freight elevator's in there. I'll make a turn here. The restaurant's over here, 59th and Lex. It's all right, it used to be a lot worse. When they're all done, I'll do the same thing again. I've said this once before, and since one of my fans liked it so much, I'll say it again. Do I trust myself in glassware? No. Am I still going through it? Absolutely. Okay, you saw that part. There's the beautiful Peely Escalators from 1962. Bedding is over here. Clear chairs, very interesting. Very modern. There's customer service and bedding, so we're gonna head back for the elevator through the children's section, which I used to always love as a kid because they used to have TVs over here playing movies. I don't think they do it anymore, though. I know this is kind of a half-assed tour, but the employees here aren't exactly friendly. Especially when they see you with a camera. That section over there? Oh, Brock! It's always been walled off. It's never been used. I don't care if WMG gets me for this. I really don't. Here's the TVs, let's see if they're working. No, they're not working. Well, that's debatable. Oh wow, it's still here. And that's burned out. Lovely. Now we start our slow climb. So yeah, the store is gonna, they're basically gonna pull a JC Penny and Roosevelt field in this place. Slowly, slowly, slowly renovated. Jesus Christ, this thing is bouncing. And I'll show you the view out to the mall up here. It's the only second floor view of the mall you can get. Here we are. This floor is dedicated completely to the ladies. Come on!
seat for the men because they know they don't like to stand up. The ladies are looking. That's that's the view out to the back parking lot. This is the floor I spend the least amount of my time on. Can you guess why? There's a nice seating area over there. Burberry section, that's new. I don't know why I decided to take a picture there, but guess what, I fucking did. If you notice in the escalator area, it has the same ceiling as the elevator does. Boutique. Boutique. Yes, the boutique. Boutique. I don't know. I'm being very random right now. I don't know why. Brock, I know you asked for a tour of Macy's, but you're getting Bloomingdale's too. Here's the mall. Here's the mall. My dad's sitting right down there, but the sign's blocking him. So anyway, we're about done with here. As you can see, this Bloomingdale's needs a renovation. You could easily, this used to be Macy's a long time ago. You could easily just slap a Macy's sign back on this door and get away with it. Let's see what comes on next. I know this song, I don't think so. Test for displays, I think they got Wi-Fi here. Let me check. Yep, they did. Oh, that's just lovely. Let me call it up. I think this door got replaced. Again. Oh, it has a skylight. I didn't know that. I might have to go back down to the basement. And we are on the Wi-Fi. Not like I'm gonna be using it. Here it comes. Wow, that's going slow. See, they knew how long it took, that's why that's there. Used to be phones there. Now you can charge your shit there. Let's go back down to the basement for just a minute before it gets dark out. Then we'll finish off the first floor and I'll show you the little section they did renovate. Hang on, I'm sorry if it refocuses, I'm just getting something off my camera, there we go. This used to be all a wood color. You could still kind of see it, like right there, because they did a really bad job covering it up. As you can tell, they take advantage of this as a freight elevator, even though the freight elevator goes faster than this. As long as no employees are giving me dirty looks, I'm going to take a look up the shaft. Because I did not know, out of all the years I've been going to this store, that there was a skylight in the elevator shaft. Maybe it's new. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <gasps> There's a freight elevator door on the other side. I knew it. I knew it! I, I knew it, I knew it! This thing used to be a freight elevator. I'm gonna have to show you a picture of when um, I rode this when this was Macy's. I thought there was a fucking door on the back of this thing. I knew it! Whole time I knew it! Damn! Still being used as a freight. Looks like I can hit another freight elevator to my list. This is the part that's been renovated. I gotta call Hood. This part they renovated. Here's an idea of what the store's gonna look like when they're done. As you can see, they're gonna renovate because they did a really good job covering up right here. See that? Uh -huh. More Burberry shit.
that electronic section they slept in here. And this concludes our tour.